Breaking news now. More than 10 hours, the community has been on edge. Happening right now, Struthers Police and Fire, SWAT and ambulances are all on the scene of a tense police standoff. Now, it's happening here on 5th Street in the city of Struthers. This is near the intersection with Lincoln Street. Now, drivers, police do have this part of 5th Street sh shut down to traffic, so you're being asked to avoid that area. And this is still an active scene this morning. Things started around 6.30 Tuesday night with an alleged assault mm -hmm. on a 16-year-old girl during some sort of argument with the mother's boyfriend. Now, we know at one point during the night a shot was fired. Since then, SWAT negotiators have been working with the suspect to get him to surrender. First News has had a crew on scene since this whole thing started. Let's get to First News reporter Connor Kick now live on scene with what we know right now. Connor. Yeah, that's right, guys. This standoff is still very much so an active scene right now. And I can tell you that we're going on our ninth and almost 10th hour of all of this happening right now. We're going to go ahead and give you a look of what we're seeing right now. When I came just about 15 minutes ago, SWAT teams are still on both sides of Fifth Street here. Every way into that area down there, the house that they are investigating right now or trying to get the suspect out of is the one that's lit up uh, in your screen right now. Uh, but SWAT teams on both sides and there's no way of getting in or getting out. Now, one thing SWAT negotiators who are still inside the home, well, they're talking to the suspect and they left the house at around two o'clock this morning. They've used loudspeakers and pointed up to the house, encouraging him to give himself up. Now, one thing is that Chief Roddy says that he knows that he's still alive in the house at this point, but he is armed with a gun. And at this point, they said that they're just going to go ahead and wait him out. They know that he is alive because they used the fire department's thermal imaging camera to determine where he was in the house. Now, one thing that is important to note is here's some video right before when our crews first got to the scene earlier tonight. The call came in at around 630 on Tuesday night and from a mother of a 16 year old who says that she was assaulted by the mother's boyfriend. That's the man that's inside the house right now. We do know that the mother's boyfriend is a 48 year old man and that the alleged assault happened on the second floor of the home. At that point, the 60 year old's brother was able to help his sister and that they were able to get out of the house and then they called their mom. Their mom was at work, but she rushed home and immediately helped police. Mom gave us the keys to the house and gave us permission to go in. Officers from Struthers went into the house, started calling out the male's name. They heard what appeared to be a gunshot. Mom said that there was a 16 or a 22 gate or 22 caliber long rifle in the house. That's when police were swapped out for that SWAT team that is on scene right now. They've been negotiating with the suspect. Now, right now, still a very active scene. Fifth Street still shut down. The one thing that they're waiting on right now is that the suspect inside that says that the reason he's not coming out right now is because he's afraid of the consequences that will come from this. He has made a phone call to his parents and also requested cigarettes at this time. We'll be live out here all morning, getting you the latest information that you need to know. So stay with us on air and online.